Brooke versus St. John's Hickey Memorial Hospital showcases the tension that sometimes arises between medical practice standards and a physician's independent judgment calls about specific patients. Tracy Lynn Brooke was almost two years old when she was diagnosed with a possible urological disorder. Her doctor decided to take x-rays with a contrast medium to confirm the diagnosis. Radiologist Warren Fisher performed this procedure. Though the directions for the contrast medium recommended that it be injected into the buttock muscle, Fisher had read that injections in the buttocks and thighs of small children presented a significant risk of nerve injury and paralysis. Fisher instead injected the medium into Tracy's calves. Shortly after discharge, Tracy's right leg became stiff and her heel began to lift off the ground. She was diagnosed with a shortening of the Achilles tendon. Doctors thought this might have been the result of some sort of trauma to her calf muscle. She subsequently underwent two surgeries and had to wear a leg brace to correct this problem. Tracy's father, Arthur, sued Fisher. He alleged that Fisher had negligently chosen an injection site that wasn't specifically recommended by the medical community, in effect performing a medical experiment on Tracy. At trial, the court refused to instruct the jury that Fisher's technique was experimental. The jury found for Dr. Fisher. The Court of Appeals reversed. Fisher appealed to the Indiana Supreme Court. 